All right, our next presenter is Richard McFall. Richard is a retired pediatric cardiologist and a self-taught painter and sculptor. His friend Matt, or Matteo, writes, he is by far the most enthusiastic and passionate painter I know. His work is so imaginative and fun, I smile at what he creates almost every time. Ricardo and I have painted many things, and I could not be blessed with a better friend to paint with. I hope others see the talent he has and appreciate such a painter's mind. And if that's not enough, his friend Nella says, Dick's nickname among his close friends is Dicasso. <laughs> he can run marathons, fix children's hearts as a cardiologist, and other people's hearts with advice. He can paint, cook, row, turn wood, draw, sculpt, play racquetball, and a million other things while being a great husband, father, brother, and friend. But don't you ever come between him and his bedtime. <laughs> if the man is not showered in bed in pajamas by nine, watch out. <laughs> Time's a wasting, man. Perhaps, she finishes by saying, perhaps one needs to go to bed so early in order to accomplish all the things that our Dicasso can do. Please welcome Richard McFall. Aww. Uh, in, uh, on June 1st, 1944, I was born not one person, but two persons. I was a Gemini. Little did I know at that young age what it would entail, but it came to two. I inspired to become a pediatric cardiologist, spending much time here in Maine, and in the evenings, uh, a wood turner, uh, a, a painter, and eventually a sculptor. While twin A, the doctor, was at the hospital uh, diagnosing and trying to treat abnormal blood vessels, uh, twin B was in the basement uh, turning vessels from uh, abnormal wood from main hardwood trees. Uh, after 10 years of wood turning, uh, the twin B decided to become a, doc uh, become a painter, uh, applied to Maine College of Art, um, got accepted, uh, enthusiastically took painting 101 and failed it at the midterm. <laughs> <laughs> On a cold January day, uh, my wife and I, uh, discouraged from my C minus minus painting grade at Mecca, uh, drew, flew to uh, the tip of the Baja of uh, Cabo San Lucas, where we fell in love with the sunshine and uh, discovered solar energy. Uh, the culture was interesting, and the colors were just amazing. If you hike in the mornings, you see this wonderful, wonderful orange sky. If you uh, leave early to fish, uh, you see it as well. Uh, the, 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 the orange is just created by the sun peeking over the horizon. In the midday, there's this wonderful uh, cobalt blue uh, sky that encircles these large, warm, uh, white, uh, yellow uh, uh, suns. Um, uh, as, you, uh, as the day progresses at 3 or 4 in the afternoon, the yellows and the oranges and the uh, um, uh, reds begin to return on the horizon. And as the uh, sun uh, settles in the Pacific Ocean uh, with the occasional flash of green, beyond the horizon, uh, the sun shows these wonderful uh, magentas, uh, 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 in the sky. Uh, fishing is what everybody does in Cabo because that's where the Sea of Cortez and Pacific come together. There's a lot of shore fishing that the natives do and the um, uh, boats uh, go out early in the morning with their colorful lures um, to deep sea fish for marlin, tuna, and uh, mahi-mahi. Uh, the restaurants all have fresh food. Uh, fresh fruit, uh, in addition to the marlin mahi-mahi, there's uh, plenty of tuna and the red snapper. Uh, there's a, a, still a bit of a, a macho mystique uh, to uh, that part of Mexico. Uh, you might see somebody sitting at the bar sipping their Jose Cuervo, 
uh, tequila, uh, a Panama hat on with a wonderful fragrant Cuban cigar, uh, enjoying the evening. And after you've had a wonderful meal and after you've uh, had your cigar, your uh, tequila, you might want to wander on the streets and be uh, and get a massage from rather inexpensive uh, massage parlors, <laughs> sometimes more. <clears throat> it's not all, we're not tourists. We lived there during the uh, winter and my wife is very active in the Humane Society. Uh, these are three dogs that have been rescued. They now, now are uh, dual citizens. Uh, the one in the uh, upper left corner is now a permanent resident of Bremen, Maine. Uh, I uh, continue to take care of uh, the children uh, pro bono uh, in, in Cabo San Lucas through the Amigos de los Niños. Uh, very, very appreciative uh, families and no other, no cardiology services otherwise. You have to, you have to come to uh, Baja with a sense of humor. Uh, there's tremendous ambiguities. Uh, uh, just. Believe it or not, there's a uh, seatbelt law. <laughs> and just when you're going to go shopping, of course, the stores close so you can go th so they can go home and eat and take a siesta. If you don't believe in uh, in uh, bullfighting like the Mexicans do, um, they ask that you look very carefully next time you're eating a cheeseburger, Big Mac, and McNuggets because it all comes from the same area. <clears throat> now, I'm sure we have uh, in this audience a lot of people who are concerned with uh, organic food. There you don't have any problem because everything is, is, range, uh, is free ranging. There are no barns, there are no fences, and the chickens sometime along with the roosters are seen going in and out of the kitchens of rather uh, the poor sections of town. Um, women know how to relax. Men fish for marlin and they play 36 rounds of golf, but the women kind of just hang back, relax. They have wine under palapas. They have wine under the beach umbrellas. They just kind of know how to do it right. <laughs> and so, but, but sometimes they overdo it a little bit, or <laughs> underdo it. I should say they underdo it a little bit. <clears throat> and lastly, uh, you know, um, uh, Europe had Picasso, and Europe had Matisse, and the United States has Wyatt, but Mexico has uh, Frida the Dove and uh, uh, Diego the Elephant, uh, two great painters who are really seen as the, the father and mother of, of art. Uh, they couldn't live with each other, so they got a divorce. They couldn't live without each other, so they uh, got remarried. Uh, so the question comes up is, being two people in one, do you just get double the adventure and the pleasure, or is it just double the challenge to those that live around you? So I think it's double the adventure, but on some days my wife is not so sure. <laughs> Thanks, Dick. I'd like to be the first person to quote John Keats at a Pachachkacha event. I felt like some watcher of the skies when a new planet swims into his ken, or like stout Cortez when with eagle eyes he stared mm -hmm. at the Pacific and with all his men looked at each other with a wild surmise, silent upon a peak in Darien. Thank you, John Keats and Google. <laughs>